Welcome to our channel. I'm Silvia. I'm Verona. And this is Ozzy, our four-legged travel companion. We are traveling and exploring Australia whenever we can. Our aim is to capture the beauty of Australia and bringing it into your living room. Please come with us and enjoy our adventures. Everyone, we waited so so long for our caravan to arrive. Due to COVID-19 issues, seemed the waiting even longer than usual. But now the caravan is here, finally! I'm gonna turn the camera around for you to see the caravan as well. This is our Chaco Journey Outback Pop Top. 17.55 foot long. Come with me. We're going to have a closer look together. All right. The first thing we already had to purchase is a step because I couldn't quite make it up to that step up here. All right, let's go inside. This is the fly screen and the normal door. The normal door we can hook here behind. We can hook, hook it on and we can separate, close that fly screen door separately. All right, let's go in. Okay, to the right we have the bathroom. There is a nice toilet here. And opposite of the toilet there is a full-size shower. We put the shower head on the bottom when we travel. So that's the shower head up here. All right. There is also an exhaust fan up on the top. And we already bought some fusion lock uh, in Bunnings. And for the toilet and bathroom, we have here some towel rails. Hang up the towels, the broom and umbrella leaves in the corner there. There is a cupboard here. Empty at the moment, it's quite narrow. We have to figure out what we want to put in it. And in here we got all sorts of things. Got some cupboard here. And under the sink we got as well. And for the toothbrush we got those toothbrush holders here. We see how, how they hold up. At the moment it's still sticking on so that's good and we also can close off the bathroom with the curtain here all good Hot. okay this is our fridge it's I think uh, 188 liters and domestic uh, three way fridge you can, that's the bottom part. And if in storage, you can put the latch up and close it and leave a gap here. 
And the same goes with the nice size freezer. And on the top we usually have the dirty clothes bag. And that's this, our seating area. We chose fabric um, as it's for me nicer, a nicer feel to sit on than leather, especially when it's hot. So yeah, underneath that seat is a storage cupboard here. Down here which we're going to probably use for heavy stuff. <laughs> Alright, on the bigger one uh, there, is a, there is a battery system underneath. Uh, we, don't, we only have AGM batteries, uh, not, not lithium. So. And the table is a bit, uh, in my opinion, a bit too wobbly, but let me see. You might purchase another one in the future. Yeah, and the windows you can open that, that way. You have to open all the latches, then you can push it out. There's a fly screen on top, comes down, and also a block out. You can choose go up all the way, like that. Yep. Okay, now to the kitchen. Okay, we got some cupboards on top there, which we haven't figured out really what we're going to do with it. Probably we change everything, but it's nice and deep. And probably I'm going to buy some more in Bunnings or Big W, more baskets put in here. All right, in the sink here. Put everything in the towel down in here when we travel. So, all right, under here we have some more storage. For me, it's some olive oil, baking paper, and and some pots and pans live down here. Okay, then we got some drawers, that's cutlery and chopping uh, boards, stuff like that. That's what we have so far in here. And here it's all a mix, a mix mess at the moment. <laughs> we have to sort that one out. And on the bottom. We have some more foldable sort of thing because that doesn't fit in much so we put that one in. Okay, we got a stove here with a four burner gas. Haven't used it yet so I can't tell, tell you much about it. And we also have a grill here. You have to figure out how to use that one, but it can't be too can't be too hard, I think. Yeah. A microwave underneath, and also a storage down at the bottom, where we have more eats and pieces. Then there is a narrow cupboard which I probably will use for bottles, mainly for bottles. Above the seating area there is some more cupboards, three good size cupboards. They're not full yet. But I'm sure that will happen soon. Alright. And the good thing about the pop top is once you set up, 
you got all that storage on top of it, even on top of the fridge, on top of here, and on the other side, on top of, of the kitchen as well, which gives you another storage. Okay, we also got an uh, air cone up here. We haven't tested it out yet, so I will tell you as, as soon as we know how it works. There is a hatch up here as well with a fly screen here and you can open it open it up as well. Alright, then there is also a TV which goes all the way around so you can watch from the seating area and also you can watch from when you lie in the bed. It has a built-in DVD player which comes in handy. Alright, then we have two uh, corner cupboards with a shelf. And that's on each side. And on the left side of the bed there is a carpet with, ha with a hanging rail on it and it goes all the way back there so it's quite roomy down there at the moment we, we put everything a bit in it there's also a drawer under here and up here it's empty at the moment but I think we putting underwear t-shirts up here same goes on that side and here there is some shelves in it ah, quite deep too and also and also a drawer here Okay, that's our best friend, Ozzy, and that's his bed here. Huh? And say hello. Say hello. Get pretty. Say hello. Say hello. Look here. Here. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Huh? Fine, fine. All right. And that's our bed. That one extends under here. You can extend that. And back here. You can move that forward. Back here, you can put that in between. There we go. Like that. Okay, and under here, we have some more storage. Lift that up. And that's probably the biggest storage we have. At the moment, we just got some chairs and tables and stuff like that and awnings and things like that in it and we also made two handy 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 sticks for under here that's the one the other one there you go and that way you can sit on it because it's quite an overhang under here if you can show it's quite an overhang and if you see it then eventually probably it bends but with those two sticks it holds pretty good 
and we got that idea from Big Oz. Well, well done. <laughs> all right, and I think that's all for today inside. How we set up that whole thing, we, we tell you in, a, in, a, in another episode. I'm going to show you now the outside, just the basics of it. If you have any further questions, just drop it into the comments and we will answer it. Alright, we got an outside table here, drops down to that. It's a nice height for a coffee bar, you can put the coffee machine there and all the cups there and invite all the, all the neighbours. Power, we got two power points here. So, that's all good. Then there's a 12 volt connection here and that's for the antenna. Maybe further down, that's a tunnel boot. Opens that way. At the moment, our Weber lives in here. <laughs> and some tools. It goes all the way uh, through. It just ends up a bit smaller on the other side. Okay. Um, there are two 9 kilo gas bottles here. And we also have the gas connection with an adapter here. And down here with a bayonet connection. So we can hook on the barbecue out here or an outdoor kitchen or whatever you like. Then we also got we installed that a cruise master a cruise master hitch which you think is better than the normal one that gives a bit more movement for the caravan and also to make life a bit easier we installed a blackjack we haven't been able to try that one out but we will we'll be soon and we tell you how it is There was a stone guard here, which we removed. That's the other side of the tunnel boot. Up here we got an outdoor shower. There you go, it's still... <laughs> haven't been used, all new. We think, you know, to give the dog a shower. Ozzy likes to run around in the beach and comes back full of sand. So that's for him. And that one is the hot water system. We just switch it on and it's fully automatic. Right. Then we go here. We fill in the water here. If you're on main water you fill it in here and that's the two tanks. We have two 80 litre tanks and a grey water tank. That's it. And up here, that's for the electric as well, and, and, and another antenna things. And here, of course, for the toilet. Everyone likes that sort of job. But I don't have to explain that one, I think. Alright, and I think that's pretty much it. That's our caravan. We see us next time when we're on the road and you can see us setting the caravan up. Thank you for watching. See you later. Alligator. Bye. Bye bye. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. We really appreciate your support. Please do like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below.